all right now this is the video that you have been waiting for topic of today is how can you make money in cryptocurrencies yes you heard me right now in the next series we are going to discuss all the varieties of ways that you can or would be able to make money in cryptocurrencies now i'm going to break them down one by one and after those series we will probably dive deeper into more technical opportunities that you can find and that you can learn to find yourself in the crypto space so number one the first and most foolproof way to make money in cryptocurrencies are you ready for it it's gonna sound really really stupid but here we go dollar cost average short dca it's an all-time favorite for the novice the noob the person who just wants to set aside a little penny at a time hoping that over time it will grow into more profit now why is this such a good idea now if we look at the bitcoin chart you will see that over the span of the entire life of bitcoin the value has gone up of course it went up drastically and then for a long period of time it's going to go down it's going to recover but if you look over the long-term view of the chart you will see that the next low is actually still higher than the prior low okay so the lows are going up now if you dollar cost average in that means on the way down every week every month every time you have a little bit of money left that you can put into a risk savings account because that's what it is meaning money that you can set and forget okay money that you are not going to really feel if you were to lose it worst case scenario okay now rule number one pick a valuable asset okay dollar cost averaging is not for the huge profits in a short amount of time so you don't want to be looking for the small cap coins that are moving a lot and super volatile no stay away from these in respect go to the more vested the more um, certified assets in the crypto space being bitcoin being ethereum those are the two standards that you can know for sure they will hold value bitcoin number one because it's the gold standard it's the mother of all cryptocurrencies and whether people like it or not there's still a lot of advancements happening in the bitcoin blockchain in the bitcoin space talking about rootstock talking about implementing of smart contracts in the future tokenization there's a lot of very interesting stuff being built on top of the bitcoin blockchain number two why ethereum okay ethereum has its drawbacks it had a lot of flaws uh, for instance the high gas fees gas fees are the transactions that you pay when you are moving around coins when you are interacting with smart contracts and projects protocols but but it is the mother of all smart chain uh, smart contract blockchains or evms ethereum virtual machines um now once you have a little bit of a portfolio in ethereum and bitcoin now you will be ready 
to start looking slowly into other projects. Again, if you are in it for the long term, go for projects that have a proven track record. That means that they have been around for at least four years. And on the long term, the lows of the fluctuations are still higher than the prior one. Very important. Now, if you follow these rules, over time, you will see a portfolio that is growing. As you are investing on the way down, your average entry price also gets dragged down. So, take these lessons and I will see you on the next one.